right, people? We're heading to Manchester, New Hampshire. Gonna play some tunes for the ride. What's it gonna be? Pick a guess. <laughs> This is called Don't Talk to Me. Y'all heard this one. Talking on a phone, sitting in the room to burst it all out Tell the girls I can find everybody out But you really rather do like a sound show Don't talk to me, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk to me Don't talk, 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 talk to me Alright people, this is the old Merrimack Club G.G. Allen Jab has played here a few times I've been in this place a lot Seeing bands this is where the lost recording was. Doesn't look much different than it was. As if there was a raised walkway to the door. Legendary place. All right, people, this place used to be called the Metro. We played our second to last show here. This place used to be a gay bar. Shut down, and they made it into like a hall. And we rented the place. For like a hundred bucks, I think. We got four or five bands in here. Played an all-ages show. It's a pretty good show. But this is the building. Right in downtown Manchester on Chestnut Street. And I think Gigi actually, when he first moved back to Manchester, when he separated from his wife, there was boarding rooms up in this building. And I think initially he lived here for a little while before he moved down to his palatial pad there on Hanover Street which I'll show you here I am my old job the union leader behind me probably the best job I ever had the best boss a Nazi Alrighty, this is the union leader building the old union leader this is where I worked so work on the third floor in the left hand corner the roof up there, it was a nice day. I found an old New Hampshire flag. I used to go up on the roof, do some sunbathing up there. The security guard was an old Marine. He'd come up there and catch me laying there. All he'd say was, hey, Spinard, make sure you lock the door when you come down. He didn't give a shit. I think you respected me for being such a freaking rebel, I guess. This is the union leader right here, the old union leader. Right down the street is Elm Street. And right around the corner on the right, that's where the Daddy's Junkie music was, where I found my Moserite Ventures 2 guitar. All right, people, this building here, it's on Hanover Street. There's Elm Street, City Hall. This was Gigi's old rooming house up here. There used to be a pizza joint right here called Zorba's. The stairwell was to the left of it going up to his pad. Pad up there, his little shitty room. That's the shitty room that I slept with. Him and his girlfriend that night. Legendary place. Gigi Allen used to live in this area, this building. And because of Zorba's pizza place, this boarding house actually smelled pretty damn good. Always smelled like pizza, even though the place was a piece of shit. It's funny, Gigi had a he had a window in this place and the other side of the window, there was a flat roof. And what did he have on this roof? He had a big glass bottle of piss and a kitchen chair out there. 
I don't know what he was doing with that kitchen chair. Maybe sunning himself. I don't know. But he had a big bottle of piss out there. Probably instead of going to the shared bathroom. Just piss in this jar. Old Gigi. Stay out of here. We want no more troublemakers around here. Well, you ain't heard the last of me yet, buddy. Go on, will ya? People, this is Elm Street. This is where Gigi filmed the Live Fast Die Fast video. This is, I believe, the building where we got thrown out of and said, You haven't seen the last of me, buddy. This is the building right up here. This is where the union leader is. And Scum Fuck Alley. Let's take a walk. The scum fuck alley. See what's down there. Might be some hookers down there blowing somebody. Maybe a dead body. We'll see. This is where they ran into in the Live Fast, Die Fast video. Ran down the street up here. Took a right. Scum fuck alley. Here we go. No, I don't see anything. I don't believe the video was shot here because there was trees in the background, but this is where they ran into. Right down here. Not got nothing here but garbage cans. But Gigi's apartment, I mean his boarding house room, is right down here. This is Scum Fuck Alley. See this wall here? Way back in the early 80s, someone graffitied this with Gigi Allen and the Jabbers. And I'd have to say either Al or Gigi was part of this scheme because their apartment is right up there. We'll take a walk to the place. And right across the wall is Old Central High School. These guys lived right across the street from Central High. In fact, Gigi's daughter attended Central High. And here's their apartment building. Right. Alrighty. Here is the apartment building that Al and Gigi lived in. This first apartment building, this entrance, that's where Al lived with his girlfriend. Lived up on the second floor, I believe, in the back. Unfortunately, both of these guys had back apartments, so they could not leer at the nubiles in the high school across the street from their front windows. But this should be a legendary place for Jabbers and Gigi Allen fans. That's Gigi's entrance to his apartment. 
This was down on the first floor, I believe, in the back. He was living here with his wife. He had all his records, his huge record collection in here. I've been here a few times, but there should be an historical marker here. With the bronze pile of shit saying G.G. Allen and Al Chapel lived in this building. Hey, there's a for rent sign right there. Hey, maybe Gigi's apartment's available for rent. Wouldn't that be cool? But look, right across the street. Central High. Wonder if that's a coincidence or not. Who knows? Here's the house I grew up in on Green Acres Drive in Manchester, New Hampshire. Gigi Allen and Al Chapel used to come over to this house. In the basement, we had a finished TV room. We would practice those four No Rules EP songs here before we went into the studio. And there's the front lawn right there where my mom opened that front door, threw all my clothes out on that lawn after I told her I was not leaving the fucking band. That's the lawn right there. Great memories in this house. Some bad ones. G.G. Allen and Al Chapel are in this house. Alrighty. This is the old Casbah Club. Right on Elm Street. This is the best club Manchester ever had in my opinion. This is the place, the last show. G.G. Allen and the Jabbers played in 1984. G.G. Allen and I used to go in this place a lot, see bands. Saw the Ramones here several times. David Johansson, uh, Jim Carroll, Johnny Winter, Robin Trower I saw in here. Great bar. G.G. took a lot of pictures in this place. Get his little pictures and his autographs in this little place here. This is a great bar. Great memories of this bar. Right on Elm Street. And in the last stop here is the corner of Beach Street and Hanover Street, where that blue pole is where that kid is. There used to be a payphone there. This used to be a Cumberland Farms. It's the last place. Ever seen Gigi Allen alive? I was working at this place. I had an apartment up on Hanover Street. I had a company van. I was driving by and I saw our old Gigi at the phone booth. So I skirted, pulled over. I talked to him for about 15, 20 minutes. He was on his way to Chicago. He said he was moving there. I think he was talking to this girl, Sharon. Went to Chicago. He still looked like Gigi, but he kind of looked homeless back then. This is probably the late 80s. He wasn't the peacock he was when I met him with the red corduroys or the white corduroys, the striped colored shirt. He was more wearing black, bandana. He wasn't so hygienically clean. Quite dirty, looked like he was homeless, kinda. But still the same Gigi. We joked around. That's the spot right there. Last time I saw him alive in Manchester. That's sad, but it is what it is. <laughs>